Good afternoon everybody and welcome to story time number 14. Now this afternoon I'm going to read you Miss Frank's favourite story and she has chosen this story because this story may remind her of when she was a little girl because it was always a favourite, it was always being read to her when she was little um, by her family and she says she's just ordered another story um, by the large family called Five Minutes Peace. And she says she's going to try and read that to her class at some point over the summer term. So we'll look forward to hearing about that, Miss Franks. Thank you, Miss Franks, for choosing us a special story for today. All in one piece. Looks like it's about a family of elephants. Mr. Large was getting ready for work. Don't forget the office dinner dance tonight, dear, he said. Of course I won't, said Mrs. Large. I've been thinking about it all year. And there they all are. Just waking up in the morning. Do you look like that in the morning? I think Mrs. Sampson looks a bit like that in the morning. Are children allowed at the dinner dance? asked Lester. No, said Mrs. Large. It'll be too late for little ones. What about the baby? asked Luke. Granny is coming to take care of everyone, said Mrs. Large. So there's no need to worry. You see the babies being fed there. Granny arrived at tea time. The children were already bathed and in their night clothes. Granny gave them some painting to do while she tidied up and Mr and Mrs Large went upstairs to get ready. There's Granny arriving. She looks very kind. Luke sneaked into the bathroom while Mr Large was shaving. Will I have to shave when I grow up? He asked, patting foam onto his trunk. Go away, said Mr Large. I don't want you ruining my best trousers. And there they are. There's Dad shaving with all his shaving foam. The baby crept into the bedroom where Mrs Large was putting on her makeup. Mrs Large didn't notice until it was too late. Oh no. Looks like somebody else is putting some makeup on. I love the roller that Mrs. Uh, Trunk has got in her hair. Look, said the baby, pretty. Don't move, said Mrs. Large. Don't touch anything. On the outside, outside on the landing, things were even worse. Laura was clapping and clopping about in her mother's best shoes and beads and Lester and Luke were seeing how many toys they could cram into a pair of her tights. Oh dear. Downstairs at once, bellowed Mrs Large. Can't I have just one night in the whole year to myself? One night when I'm not covered in jam and poster paint. One night when I can put on my new dress and walk through the front door all in one piece. Dear, I think they are in trouble. The children went downstairs to Granny. Mr Large followed soon after. Very smart in his new best suit. At last, Mrs. Large appeared in the doorway. How do I look? she asked. She looks rather beautiful. Pretty mummy, gasped the children. What a smasher, said Mr. Large. You look like a film star, dear, said Granny. Hands off said Mrs. Large to the paint-smeared children. She did not want to get paint on her new dress. Mr. and Mrs. Large got ready to leave. Goodbye, everyone, they said. Be good now. The baby began to cry. Just go, said Granny. 
picking her up. She'll stop as soon as you've left and have a lovely time. We've escaped, said Mr. Large with a smile, closing the front door behind them. All in one piece, said Mrs. Large, and not a smear of paint between us. Actually, said Mr. Large gallantly, you'd look wonderful to me, even if you were covered in paint. And there they are, setting off. And there are the children, waving goodbye at the window. Which was perfectly true. And, well, just as well, really. Oh, no. Look what's happened to her dress. What can you spot there? I don't think she knows that she's got every single colour of the rainbow on her new beautiful dress. But I don't think Mr or Mrs Large mind, do you? They look perfectly happy together. The end. Thank you, Miss Franks, for choosing our story time today. We really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy listening to it, Miss Franks. Goodbye.